What is up humans? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cutting for you guys this piece of uh, white Ethiopian opal. Looks like it could be a semi-crystal, but it's got some good color flash in there. But as you can kind of see, there's a little bar of uh, potch going through the center of it. So we'll see how this one ends up turning out. When we weigh it out, it weighs 8.46 carats so if you guys want to see how this opal ends up getting shaped and polished uh, go ahead and keep on watching First things first, it's super important to keep your hair back, protect your eyes, and wear a dust mask to protect your lungs. So I had started on this stone, as you guys can see, I, I kind of started carving on this one this week, and it was nice, and it was dark based, and I was super excited about it, but during the carving process, it just totally shattered apart on me, so uh, I didn't really think that that was really worth showing because it, it shattered so quickly. But on my Dremel using my uh, diamond bit tip here, I'm kind of just starting out grinding off the like bumpier parts of the opal and trying to get it into a more uniform shape, uh, whatever that might be. Uh, originally, I was trying to get it into more of a rhombus shape, but that didn't quite turn out. So, uh, the potch in the middle did do a thing, and I ended up carving it a bit more of a round shape, but as you guys can see on the side there, it started cracking right by that potch, so I just ground that part down as much as I could, and it continued to crack, but it did end up, uh, yielding me a piece of usable quality, which was nice. And then moving on to my uh, black Nova point here, I'm just kind of trying to polish up the edges to get off the scratches from that rougher diamond bit. And uh, these Nova points that I've got are from uh, Suva Lapidary, and I'll leave a link for that in the description down below. Uh, they're really great points if you're planning on carving opal with a Dremel. I highly suggest it uh, if you know you're not carving or shaping with the Nova point I highly suggest not leaving it in your Dremel obviously uh, but you know to me it wasn't so obvious and there's a couple of times that like an earthquake came through and something fell on it and it bent it and I had to get another pack so just be careful and and make sure that your your points are safe and that you don't lose them and then the brown nova point just continuing to polish it and i did end up with like kind of like a a teardrop shape and it, it did turn out to be pretty lovely shape 
But yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really have a whole lot else to say about this stone other than the cracking in the beginning. So I'm just gonna leave you guys with uh, some music. You can put it on mute if the music that I like isn't your thing. And I'll touch back with you guys later in the video. So here I wanted to kind of show you guys one of my Dremel pieces that I left in there that got bent by something falling on top of it. And it's just totally unusable, but as you can see I do have another replacement piece. So just be careful, make sure that your pieces are safe and not, you know, left in your Dremel will be a positive, you know. So as you guys can see, I ended up with this kind of a, I don't know what to call it, like a lipstick tube shape teardrop. And that's because um, the cracking continued through the face of it and I just had to grind that the heck out of there. Um, and as always, I'm going in with my polishing pastes. You can order uh, Nova points that do the same thing that these polishing pastes do. I just do the polishing paste because it's what I like, but I will admit it does make it harder to hold on to, and uh, you would benefit from dopping if uh, you're using the polishing paste.
So, uh, the, this is what the finished stone looks like, and it is a lovely teardrop shape. I don't mind that little flat piece in the face of it. I still think it's absolutely lovely. I love the teal that's going across it, and the, the green and orange yellow catch all at the same time is so gorgeous. I think that this would make a beautiful necklace. And the finished weight of the polished stone is... 1.88 carats so you know we lost like eh, like seven something carats so this is the stone before we carved it at around eight something carats and you know it was a beautiful rough piece you guys could see you know the dirt and whatnot that I had to carve away and all of its beautiful colors originally and then we have the finished stone in all of its polished glory and yeah you guys can kind of see that flat part on it i i really don't mind that i just think it's a gorgeous stone regardless it's almost like it has a little bit of a face on it you know like y you know what i mean like facing bleh, my words not working with me and i can't be bothered today but yeah so it's a beautiful stone and here's every time i dropped it So I have another painting for you guys today, and I did this one back in November for a friend of mine, of a friend of mine, and as you could see, I got the uh, the space up there. I used a lot of the Uli, um reflective metallic and color changing paints, and you guys can kind of see the holographics that I put in space to kind of be like, you know, like the stars, and then I got my, my big planet there with the rings and the mountains. And then I have a, a monastery up there in the hills, uh, lots of grass, and then the kind of light from the sky shining down on the grass. And then I've got a uh, dude suit of armor uh, with this sword, and the sword actually has some color changing, and so do the jewels on his armor. And then he has some spell spheres around his head. I got a tree there. I have a lake with the mountains reflected in the lake. And I'm just trying to show off some of the color changing here for you guys. And this painting took me two months of working on it every day for hours a day to get it done. And you guys can kind of see how that blue turns to red and the red, the red purple kind of turns to yellow. And it's just, I'm very happy with this painting. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't subscribed already. Like this video if you liked the video. Share it with your friends if you have people who care about this kind of content. And uh, I will see you next time I make a video.